here we are. I'm 52 years old. I live as a nomad in my RV with my teenage daughter and we are working towards traveling the world right now and it is such a special feeling to be able to say that and do that. It's something that I've always wanted to do and excited for the possibilities, excited for the future, excited for what could be. Along with that, right now, I feel like I am working on the art of listening. I know it's something that I want to talk way more about than in this little video right now here, but um, at this present time, we are not able to leave specifically where we're at. We're in a place right now where we are getting some healthcare things taken care of, um, physical, dental, um, even emotional. We're in this area where we can get all of those things up and going. And on top of that, we also are experiencing some financial inabilities to go exactly where it is that we want to go right now. I'm trying to see and feel the fullness of the value in that. And I am trying to listen because I want to just keep going. It's okay that for this period of time, you're going to have to just kind of stay still and you're going to have to listen. And I'm really working hard at doing that. I think a lot of times we just go, go, go. And especially like when we're nomads, this place is good. This place is in the forest and there's water and there's snow and blue sky and there are wild bunnies who come over and eat the kale that we <laughs> give them and lettuce and such and it's it's a good place to be and yesterday i took a pretty good walk run i've been alternating that to build back up to my ability in in running and i've always been pretty physically active and fit in the past couple of years i've had some stuff happen and some circumstances that has definitely you know, it put me into a serious tailspin and I've not been able to do everything um, that we've wanted to do. It's okay to have all of these dreams and all of these desires and all of these things that are built into us that we want to do. And if we're not able to fully do what it is that we want to do right at this point in time, it's okay to stop and listen and okay so i can't do the full thing that i really want to do right now what can i do you know we are still living in our rv we are decorating tomorrow we are happy and we are together and we are healthy and we are working at becoming financially strong and all of those things come together and people will stop and talk to me and they will take a look at the map that we have on the side of the rig um, and I love that you know and they're like they strike up conversations and sometimes I have people who say you know I really wish I could do that you know I, I, I don't have the money I don't have you know that ability and sometimes people are I, I just I just hear some people who just really really want to do it and, and they don't feel like they can and uh I just, oh, I just would love to encourage you that wherever you are, whatever your age, if you're a single female like myself, um, having kids like myself, um, oh wow, over 50, that's <laughs> really crazy, like myself, and even struggling financially. I really just feel that there are ways that you can do it. I have to pay a regular monthly mortgage or RV payment, and it is, it's like a mortgage, but it's better than what rent is in the majority of states in the country right now. 
and which is a really good thing. If you have a dream and you have a desire, you can do it. And that art of listening for me at this moment is I am doing it. And even though I'm in the middle of this time that I have to be still and I have to allow these things to take place, it's okay. It's okay to rebuild your momentum and rework that launch because when it happens it's going to happen in a big way and in a good way and listening to your mind listening to your body it's kind of all of the things that i'm working on right now for myself and i think that there's a lot of people who are stuck in situations and i don't know some days i feel stuck and other days i feel completely free and I feel like that's because of the lifestyle that we have. Um, even if we just get to take a two hour road trip someplace and, you know, camp out, build a fire, eat something really amazing that we cook on our cast iron, um, just take a hike or a walk, get into nature. All of those things is rejuvenate and can recharge you. What am I trying to get at? Well, for myself, I'm trying to get at, I'm really grateful that I have this lifestyle. I'm grateful because I know that when I've lived in a regular sticks and bricks house, which I've done several times, God, when I got like this, I would just get restless, so restless. And I would just, I would want out so bad and I would feel trapped. Um, and when I had, dog hair, when I would have like problems or issues surrounding my life and I was stuck geographically as well as just being in that house, I think it, no, I don't think, I know that it made me worse. It, it made the way that I felt worse. It made the way that I approached life and and my own healing I really feel like nomadic living has worked a lot of healing in my life and, and it's not just a feeling it's i know for myself it is definitely not for everybody um some people can't so i i understand and i have got several videos that i've got planned to come down the line my first rv was a 96 fleetwood bounder it was 36 feet long and we had five kids in it an 86 pound golden retriever i was married at the time and we were doing it on social security disability and school loans and it was so good to be out of that stationary house um, but i I am going to be creating videos to show you how you can do that no matter what your financial situation is and different ways that you can even launch into a nomadic lifestyle if you feel like that's for you. And um, I always encourage people to at least give it a shot. I mean, if you can rent a vehicle or get something small, you know, take your car, you know, go out with your tent. I'll tell you something, we lived in our car for a summer um in 2017 yeah 2017 and ruby loved it we camped down by a lake and we would bathe in the lake and we would sleep either in the car or in the tent uh, we would cook on an open fire um we did this for about a month and it was just so amazing to get close to the earth close to each other and to listen to what it was inside of ourselves inside of our hearts what was going on and even though there were rough things happening on the outside having that freedom really made a difference for the psychological in here and in our hearts yeah so we have our plans so we are talking about how we're going to make it happen and we're not quite sure yet but you know what that's okay because 
I mean, a lot of the journey is not always knowing. Sometimes it's going day by day and seeing what happens in that way. And I'm really excited because I, as I said, I'm turning 52 and it's the holidays and there's lights everywhere. And it just feels like a real celebration of life. And even though we're in this place right now, I know that we're going to be able to move forward. And that gives a lot of hope. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, wherever you are on your own journey, um, I totally wish you well. And again, whatever age you are, whatever capacity, where there's a will, there's a way. Don't give up. Stay strong. And when you don't want to be strong anymore, it's okay. You know, that again is where the art of listening comes in. And if you can get outside and get into nature in any way, shape or form, if it's just taking a walk in your neighborhood or getting outside in your backyard, looking up at the sky, feeling the grass underneath your feet or on your legs, um, laying there, do it. <laughs> Mental synopsis, I'm excited because I am 52 and I am living a lifestyle that I want to live. And I am so excited that we have our RV and that my 16 year old daughter is in this with me and we're doing it together and that we are making these huge plans that we are going to just make happen, you know, just grasp it, take it, do it. And I'm waiting for that moment. And as I'm waiting for that moment, in this moment, we are in one place and there are some obstacles to overcome. And you know what? It's okay. It's okay about the obstacles. They're going to come, they're going to go. And that sense of freedom is still there. And I mean, it's kind of what life is, right? It's that kind of journey. But this is another side of RV life or nomadic life, van life, however you want to tell it. Um, and here we are. Whatever's happening today for you, whatever it could be, do your best to take a moment, breathe, just listen, go outside, have your own adventures in wilding, and we will see you again very soon.